Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Queen of all the trade is your girl, Miss Supermodel, and today I have your February 2019 monthly reading, okay? Um, I don't have really any announcements that I have to make, um, but I do want to say one thing is that I will be, you will be seeing me screenshotting songs, okay? Um, because I am pulling the energies for you guys reading, so I will be screenshotting the songs throughout the reading, okay? Um, I'm not playing the songs because of copyright issues, all right? Um, so I'm not going to be playing the songs um, due to copyright issues, but I am going to link all the songs in the description box below that is being played, okay? And I highly suggest that you guys listen to these songs because they definitely will have a connection to your situation, all right? Um, so I'm getting ready to shuffle the cards. You guys don't have to watch. I'm going to put a, um, a link in the description box, okay? You can just click on it and it goes straight to where the reading will begin, okay, if you don't want to watch this whole process. What is the person that is involved with them? Energy. What is the past? This is for that you the action. Challenge piece of the deck. Let me help you take off your shoes. Take off your problems. Cause you don't need clothes. Let me feed you. Okay, Virgo. So, the overall energy for you guys for the month is the Empress, okay? 
Um, this is your imp this is your card, the card of Virgo. Um, so with the Empress card being here, I see you guys, you know, um, you know, being in your feminine energy. If this is a female I'm speaking to you, you guys are definitely in your feminine energy. Um, you feeling very attractive, okay? Um basically taking good well care of yourself, okay? And you know, I see that you guys you know, putting in a lot of work, okay, um, definitely putting in a lot of work as far as yourself is concerned, um, with the work, with the empress spending the overall energy, okay, um, so the way, your energy, your current energy, um, is this, the, um, the nine of swords, okay, the person that you're thinking about current energy is the page of swords, the past energy or situation is the nine of coins. The current energy that's linking the two of you, the two of your current energies together is the page of wands. The future energy we have though is the three of swords. And for the outcome, we have the queen of wands, okay? So like I said, um, you guys are definitely putting a lot of work in here. Yeah. Um, in a situation, you know, working on yourself, okay, um, so that you guys can feel so much more attractive, um, with what's going on in your situation, okay, um, so your current energy, we have the nine of, um, swords, so that's something that's stressing you guys out, okay, um, you're definitely worried about something, um, currently, okay, why is this nine of swords here, please? I just wanted one card, but it's looking like you guys, something is balancing something out. Um, it's like somebody has some options or somebody is juggling something. Um, somebody had walked away, okay? And, you know, when they walked away, you know, that completely liberated, when the person it liberated them and it made them completely happy, okay? Their wishes was, was fulfilled and they was able to move on forward towards victory, okay, towards something that he was very passionate about, okay, um, because you're dealing with, um, well, somebody was just recognizing that somebody was a player, okay, in the situation as well, um, but you could be dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, um, there's a lot of fiery, passionate energy here, okay, so we have Earth energy towards Virgo Capricorn, um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, okay? And then we have air energy here. So we have all the energies. Um, but you can be stressed out because, you know, um, yeah, somebody was definitely juggling. He had options, okay? Um, and somebody walked away, basically. And um, for some reason, though, we have to sign the cups here because somebody must have felt good about the situation because the situation could have been a lot stressful, okay, and this could be the main reason why you're focusing on yourself right now, okay, um, with this empress here, yeah, you realize, you found, it's like, um, you finally recognize that somebody, you know, was, um, you know, was a player, okay, or you, or you cut somebody off so that you could be happy and move forward you know, move forward to what, to somebody that you wanted passionately, okay? Somebody that was going to make you happy. Somebody that you can have a victory with, okay? But I think he was a little bit worried about a separation or something like that. You could be dealing with a Gemini, too, as well. Um, with this King of Swords being at the bottom of the deck. You definitely got some type of truth and clarity, but you was definitely in two minds about the situation, okay? Um... So the person that you're thinking about dealing with is the Page of Swords, okay? So this person could be spying on you. There could be some type of immature communication going on um, with this person. Let's see what's going on here. Why is this Page of Swords here? Okay, so we have the Tower, we have the Three Cups, and we have the Sun, okay? So somebody is definitely spying on you, okay, um, because somebody is shocked to see that 
you're celebrating, okay, and you're happy, okay? Um, you're enjoying yourself. Like I said, you're focusing on yourself. You know, you're feeling beauty, you're feeling beauty in yourself. You're feeling good, you know, about yourself and your feminine energy, okay? Um, you're feeling very attractive, and somebody is fine with you. What they're seeing is that, you know, they shocked that you're actually happy, okay? Um, that you out celebrating with your friends, going to the club or whatever, and they see that you're happy. You're not worrying about them. Like I said, you didn't walk away, okay, and move forward to somebody that you was very passionate about that you that you have this ten of cups with. You know, you walked away from them, okay, most definitely. And it was definitely a decision that you was balancing out, okay? You weighed out all your options, you know? You was weighing out all your options, and that's what was stressing you out, okay? Well, this is your current situation. You currently weighing out all your options, okay? And this is what's stressing you out because you want to move forward to somebody that you're so much happier with, somebody that you have a lot of passion with. And this person, you know, they spying on you because they shocked to see that you're celebrating, okay, and that you're happy. You know, so in the past, we had the nine of coins. Okay, um, this is telling me that you know, either you wanted some type of stability in the past, okay, or you was just single, okay. Um, so what about the nine of coins? Yeah, um, yeah, you was just single and you was just longing, you know, for something passionate, okay? Um, you was definitely longing for something passionate in this situation. You wanted to be single, you know? You wanted more passion in your life. Yeah. And you wanted to move forward. Yeah, you wanted more passion in your life. So, you know, it caused you, you was making plans to move forward to cut out whatever the situation was in the past, okay? Because you gained some type of mental clarity about the situation. You guys, listen to this, these songs. All these songs is like correlating with what I'm saying right now. That I'm going to put in, in a description, okay? I'm telling you. Yeah, but you got some type of, you, you gained some type of clarity upon the situation. You definitely cut out, you know, all the mess in the past, okay? With this, um, you know, the Queen of Swords being right here, you definitely cut it out. You was making plans, you know, to move forward into the future for something that you was more passionate about, okay? Which you let up, which, you know, which kept, which you ended up being single, okay? Because you cut a relationship out. You just wanted more passion. You must have been in a situation where things were passionate, okay? Um, so the current energy right here is the page of um, wands. So this is the link between um, the queen of wands. I mean, this is the link between you and the person that you're thinking about, which is the nine of swords here, which was your, is your current energy, and um, their current energy, which is the page of swords here, okay? Um, this is the link the current energy um, between the two of you guys. And it's the Page of Wands. So it's like, the Page of Wands is like you trying to, you know, start over, start something. You want something new, something fresh, okay? Um, but this is definitely like in the beginning stages. You, um, you know, you could be discovering some new things about yourself, you know, finding out some new things, okay? Um, and I see this definitely with the spine card right here with this person. You know, they definitely discover some things about you. Um, but overall, you know, you're stressed out because, you know, you want something brand new. You want something new to kick off passionately. You know, basically, and it's the same thing that you wanted in the past. Tell me about this page of wands, please. Yeah, you just want somebody that you can work together with, okay? Or you're discovering that there was some type of third-party situation. Um, or you just want, you know, 
you you want to start something brand new with somebody, okay? You ready to work together with somebody, you know, join your assets. Um, you know, and come together with somebody. And, you know, there's definitely you taking your time doing so, okay? Um, being in this um knight of coins energy, okay. This is a lot of this is earth energy, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. So this is definitely your energy. Um You know, it's definitely your energy. It's actually the energy of Virgo. I mean, Taurus. Sorry. But yeah, you taking your time, okay? Um, you you just yeah, you you definitely taking your time and you know, you want somebody that you can be passionate with, okay, and work together with. Um, you just want something brand new. Yeah, you want this ten of cups here. Um, and you want emotional fulfillment as well, okay? And I see that you're moving towards that, you know, um, currently. So for the future energy, we have the um, three of swords, okay? So this is telling me about heartbreak, okay, and a partnership here. Tell me about this three of swords, please. Um, somebody is heartbroken, and I'm pretty sure it's this person um, who's doing this fine. Yeah, somebody is heartbroken. Um... Because they want things to be balanced out, okay, in the situation. There was definitely a break, okay, but somebody is thinking, um, doing a lot of meditating, a lot of thinking, okay, but somebody has definitely, you know, been put on the timeout with this four so it's and you can deal with a Libra. Um, yeah, and somebody is feeling sad and lost about a breakup. Yeah. It's an issue with trust here in the situation. Um, we have the Queen of Coins, okay, who is a trustworthy individual. And then we have the Justice here, okay? And the Justice also speaks about trust. So there was some type of issue with trust. Trust. Um, there was some type of issue with trust that led to this. Um, that led to this um, Five of um, Cups energy. Hold on, screenshot these songs. Oh, I told y'all that already in the beginning. Um, but yeah, that's an issue with trust, okay? Um, that led to this, that led to this Five of Cups energy. Somebody feeling sad, okay? Um, emotionally fucked up, basically. You know, because somebody couldn't trust someone. You could deal with a tourist regular Capricorn or somebody probably couldn't trust you or you probably couldn't trust them because that queen of um, coins is towards regular Capricorn's energy. Yep, and this love partnership, okay? There's no trust in this relationship. Somebody is definitely mourning the loss. They feeling heartbroken, okay, in this in this relationship because there was an imbalance in trust, okay, in this in this relationship here. And it's leaving somebody heartbroken. And it's leaving them contemplating, okay? It just bored, you know, pretty much. One person is bored, one person is heartbroken. Then for the outcome, we have the Queen of Wands. So this person is like a fiery, passionate energy, okay? This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So this is a lot of fire energy. So, um, you know, this person, you know, wants a lot of passion. So in the outcome, you know, I do see you going after what you want and getting the passion that you so desire. Um, tell me about this Queen of Wands, please. Even though you love me. Well, like I said, the offer is coming in slow, okay? Um, somebody has a lot of passion, they're ready to go out to what it is if they want passion, really. But this offer is definitely coming in slow, okay? Then we have the queen of um, coins at the bottom of the deck again. So, basically, this is just like... um.
you know, you want somebody that's trustworthy, okay? You want someone that's independent. You want someone who, you know, is very much well-rounded, okay? Um, this could very well be this person coming right back, you know, that you was having all these issues with. But it's definitely, they're definitely coming back slow, you know? But you definitely want someone that's trustworthy, okay? Someone that's loyal, What is this offer that's coming in with this night? Yeah, somebody is definitely hesitating again. The outcome, I see somebody hesitating. Somebody is definitely hesitating, okay? Um, and that's why they're moving so slow, coming towards you. That's why they're moving so slow, coming towards whatever they is passionate about, okay? Um, they definitely got it, pretty much. They got it, and they try to protect themselves. I want to see if this three coins is for the um, current energy, though. So I think I'm missing something. Yeah, you got, you want somebody that you can build with. That's what I figured. Yeah. Um, you want somebody that you can build with, someone you can join your assets with, somebody that you can work together, okay? Yeah, you ready for this new beginning, you know, and take the leap of faith. So some of you guys, you know, you ready to take this leap of faith, get on the ship and go towards what you want passionately. Because you know that that's what's going to make you happy. Your wishes is going to be fulfilled. Okay. And we have the, um, you know, you feel like it's going to be a victory. But you have to walk away from something else first. Okay. You have, it's something that you're juggling. And this is what's worrying you. Okay. Once you walk away from whatever that is that's stressing you out, you know, you'll be able to get this passionate, um, you know, this ten of cups here. You know, and move, move forward with passion here. Um, I want to find out more about this person, though, that's fine. Oh, that you're thinking about. So we have the pages to us. We have the tower here. Um, so somebody is spying me, realizing that you're happy. You know, that you that you celebrate hanging out with your girlfriends, going out with them. You're fucking happy. Like, this is what this person is going around spying. But you're definitely ready for this new beginning. You could be dealing with a Cancer or Aries. Okay. Yeah, they're thinking about you. They're reminiscing about you, okay? Um, yeah, they spy on you because they miss you, okay? They definitely miss you. They're reminiscing about you. So, you know, and they shocked to see that you're happy, okay? Definitely. And I guess they're trying to have some type of patience, you know, in the situation, thinking that things are going to come back around. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay? But in the outcome, though, I see you guys, um, you will be going after what it is that you want passionately, okay? You'll definitely get the passion. Listen to this. Y'all have to listen to this song. This is um, Birthday Sex. <laughs> birthday Sex. Listen to that song. You say you want passion, you probably get this shit. I'm telling you. You get ready to get the passion and the, the passion that you so desire, but it's just coming in slow, okay? Because, you know, you may be a little bit hesitant or whoever this person is that's coming in with this offer for you, okay? They may be a little bit hesitant. That's why it's coming in slow. Birthday sex. Birthday sex. You have the lovers. Yep, they're coming in slow. But this is definitely your lover here. Could be a Gemini. Somebody is definitely coming to romance you with the Nine of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. Yep. Yep. And here go Passion. Right at the um, top of the deck. I'm just plucking it. It was right underneath the lovers. Here's the um, Ace of Cups. Offering Passion. Offering Love. It's just coming in slow. This person is just hesitating, okay? Um, they could be a little bit overwhelmed, you know, or something like that, but yeah. And definitely, you know, the, the Knight of Cups is definitely coming in. So this is a pretty good read overall, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and go through your advice that we got. So we have trust here. Okay, it says the situation calls for you to have faith. Okay, another sign had got this. 
Um, I think it was um, I think it was Leo maybe or could have been Leo or Cancer. You could be dealing with a Cancer or Leo, but they got this, okay? Um, if you want to cross watch, you can go back and watch the videos, the other videos that I post, okay? Um, but it says this situation is calling for you to have faith, okay? So you have to trust in the process, okay? Um, we have twin flame cards here, you know, or soulmate cards. You know, we have the um, the Gemini twins and we have the two of cups here, okay? You guys are going to be happy and celebrating. We have the um, the nine of cups. You know, your wishes are definitely going to be fulfilled here. Then we have love yourself first. It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Well, this is what you've been doing. You know, this is what's driving the reading. You know, you spending more time with yourself. You know, you loving yourself. This is what this card is all about. The Empress, you know, you caring and loving for yourself. So this is what you're doing. So keep doing it. And then we have separation. It says, time apart from your partner is on the horizon, okay? So, yeah, I mean, this already told me that with the, i seen the four swords here. And, you know, I see that you guys are stressing, um, stressing, you know, about walking away from the cursing. So, there's definitely, separation is definitely in order here, okay? Um, but trust the process, okay? Then we have love, okay? And this is the first John 4-8. It says love. And then the next message that you guys got was as iron sharpens iron so hold up. As iron sharpens as iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens a friend. Proverbs seven twenty seven seventeen. Okay. So you guys are going to be feeding off of each other. Here we go with the Gemini twins. This is telling me that you guys are going to be feeding off each other, okay? Um, learning from each other, okay? So as iron sharpens iron, it says a friend sharpens a friend, okay? So you guys, um, you know, like I said, this person is smiling on you. They seem that you're happy, you know, celebrating with your friends, focusing on you, Okay? So, with the Gemini twins, though, here and, and, and the um, thing, I do see that you guys are going to be feeding off each other, in the, you know, in the, in the outcome, okay? Definitely. It's like you guys are mirroring each other or something like that. All right. So, the signs that I see here is um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, um... Aries Leo Sagittarius, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, um, specifically uh, Taurus, um, Scorpio Cancer Pisces, Libra, um, Scorpio Cancer Pisces, specifically uh, Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Virgo. We have Leo here again. Um, Libra. Two Libra cards. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this is um, the Knights. This is Aries. Okay. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You know. So hopefully this reading resonated with you guys. Um, if this reading resonated, like the video. Um, and we drop me. Um, drop some, you know, comments. And let me know, you know, what the situation is. Um, if you want to critique, you know, you can drop your critiques in the comments. You know, I don't mind. Um, just like the video, comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video, okay? And don't forget to listen to the songs that I'll put in the description for you guys.